Okay, we're here again. Going to be creating some more fixtures uh, for the user fixture library in Venue Magic. Um, today we've got three fixtures to create: a 13-channel moving head, a 8-channel 10-watt parkan, and a 5-channel Eye Solution Rover here. So we've got two very, very generic fixtures, and probably this uh, fifth one is also a very generic fixture as well. So well, let's go ahead and get started. So inside Venue Magic, uh, so I've come in here and gone Tools, User Fixture Library. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add these to the generic, because I have no idea who manufactures these uh, particular fixtures. And I'm going to click Add. Now I'm going to switch back and forth between this document and Venue Magic and probably do a bunch of copy and paste. So we're going to go grab this and go copy and paste and select moving head here. Click OK. And then first thing we've got to do is we've got to create these pan tilt channels. We're going to go here, add motion pan tilt 16. Okay. Next we're going to do RGB, red, green, blue. Looks like it also has a white, so I'll show you how to do that one. So we go add red, green, blue. Then we're going to go add, and we're just going to add a dimmer for white. Okay. And we're going to then this channel here looks like it handles the shutter, uh, what's traditionally called a shutter. So let's go here, we'll go add, and I'm going to create a selector and call it shutter. And it has how many selections? One, two, three, four, eight selections. Create eight here. And 0 to 31, LED turn off, LED off, 32 to 63, LED on, sixty-four to ninety-five. I'm actually just going to go like this. Copy paste. And the reason I'm turning the dim fade on is so that it's a continuous range of motion uh, in the envelope editor. So we're going to do this one. Uh, this is just an LED turn on, LED on two. And then pulse effect in sequences. Copy that, 128 to 159, paste, 159, LED on 3, copy that in advance here, so LED on 3, 191, paste that in, and this is 223. And then the last one is LED on 4. LED on 4. Okay. Click Save. Let's pick out our next channel. Our next channel is the overall intensity. So we're going to click Add. And this is going to be a dimmer. And this is going to be um, intensity. And I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to change the channel cluster back to zero. And actually white, we're going to change the channel cluster to one. What the channel cluster means is it is a representation of how the channels uh, and the fixtures get created in the lamp preview window. That's all, pretty much all the channel cluster effects. 
Uh, the trace color affects what color shows up when you're doing when you open it up on a envelope editor. And hardware min max, if you're do, dealing with that, you need to talk with us directly. So I'll click OK here. And so the reason I set the intensity here to be cluster zero is so that it this affects the overall level of the RGB uh, in the fixture. Okay, switch here. So the next one is the rainbow effects, which is going to be a selector. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's going to be a selector type. And this is a rainbow and 13. So no function is 0 to 4. 0 to 4, 5 to 29 is red, 30 to 54 is green, And the reason I'm not creating this as a color wheel is because all I have represented here are rainbow colors, which could be anything. Um, the color wheel allows the uh, selections down at the bottom to change in the envelope editor. And that's sometimes nice, but in this case it won't make a whole lot of difference. So this one is 79. Oops. Uh, so that was 55, 79, red, green, blue, white, and this was 80 to 104. Okay, now we're going to go here, we're going to copy that, paste, rainbow colors 1, 105 to 129, Case 2 to 154, paste 3 to 184, paste 6, 189, paste 7, and 210, paste Eight two fifty five. Save again. The channel twelve is going to be the pan tilt movement speed, and I am just going to create this as a speed channel in Venue Magic. So speed. Okay, and then the next one is internal programs. I'm just going to use the label internal programs, copy that, and we're going to create this as a selector as well. And this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12 different selections. Okay. Selection 1 is nor normal, and that goes to 79. Yes, we want to, ad what that asks is if, if I want to adjust all of the different ranges it can affect. So if you notice, this one went to 80, this one went to 81, and this one got changed as well to 82 to 84. So 80 to 84 is going to be all motor reset, paste, 
paste. We're going to get that pop up again. Yes, we want to adjust all of the associated ranges. 82, 85, 87. We're going to copy that. Paste. 87. Yes, we want to allow the adjustment. Next one is 8889. So about that. 89. And then we're back into the others. Internal program. Copy. Paste. And that's nine. Let's see. 100 through 119. Ah, so we're missing one. 119. And we're going to go back to this and change that to 99 actually. Because no function, you know, what's in between that range, I don't know. I'm going to just assign it to no function. So the next one, internal program 2. I'm just going to copy this once now and reuse it. Paste to and this is to one, 120 to 139. Paste 3 to 159. Paste 4 to 179. Paste 5 199. Paste 6, 219, paste 7, 239. This one, we're going to copy music control. Paste, and OK. And we have finished adding that entire 13 channel fixture. Okay. Notice it says here number channels 13. Click Save again. Next we're going to do LED park hand. Going to add here, paste. I'm going to delete some of the extra spaces. Now we're going to label this a RGB lamp because it has red, green, blue, and white. Okay, so the first channel is brightness, which is going to be a dimmer. Next ones are red, green, blue. Next one is white. And notice it automatically created my cluster. It automatically added. Um, that's because I have two dimmer channel types here. Okay, the next one is all flashing speed adjust. And the trick that I use on that to make sure that they stay on the right cluster is to use a selector. So I'll copy that paste it there and I just leave it with one selection. Then I come in the selection and change the to dimmer fader. So it will handle the entire range. Next, adjust flash speed, copy that, add selector, paste, open that up, select dimmer fader, save, and then adjust gradient speed. Copy that. Add selector. Paste. Make it dimmer, dim fade. And save. And we've just created that 8 channel fixture. Last one is this iSolution Rover IROC 5S. So I'm going to copy that. I'm actually going to add. Ah, already have one. And a new fixture here. This one is 
pan tilt. I'm going to add it as a, I'm going to guess it's a scan head, which is has the mirror on it instead of the whole head moving. Okay, add first channel is pan and tilt. So we're going to come motion pan tilt. Next one is shutter shaking. So that would be a selector. Actually, that's probably a gobo wheel. No, there's the gobo wheel. So yeah, that would be a selector. Grab that text, copy, paste it there. Since I only have one select, so I don't have the details. I only have, I can only create the single range for the entire fixture. Next one is gobo. I only have the one, so we're going to go here, make it full range, and then a color wheel. We only have one, make it the full range again. Save, and we've done the three. So the next step is to export the fixtures. So come here, notice that I have the two fixtures here, and the eye solutions one. Click OK. Switch to my Venue Magic folder here. And we're going to call this generic fixtures for PAT. Save. X successfully exported. Click OK. Save and close. And we are done. Uh, let us know if you've got any other problems.